welcome to Comfort Life channel. I'm happy to see you here today and I hope you're doing wonderful. In today's video, we start discussing the um, like simple vitamins and it's going to be like actually simple vitamin guide. The first vitamin we're going to talk about is going to be vitamin E. Well, I just decided to start with vitamin E for some reason. And um, so let's see what vitamin E is. Vitamin E is a fat soluble vitamin and uh, it could be found in many foods, fats and oils. So what does vitamin E, you know, do to our bodies? First and the most important thing all of us need to remember about vitamin E is that in our bodies it is acting as an antioxidant and this way it helps to prevent our cells and our body from the damage of the free radicals. So free radicals is something that happens to us throughout the day, every day, and actually we cannot stop it because it depends on the environment, smoking, you know, alcohol, the way of life we lead, the sun, actually anything that can damage us and even the process of people consuming food to convert it into energy also promotes the free radicals to occur. So without antioxidants, we will not be able to fight the free radicals and that would not be a good thing. And another thing which antioxidants do by fighting the free radicals, they prevent us from aging. So they actually, they don't stop it because it's not possible, but they help us to stay younger longer. The essential role of antioxidants and vitamin E, of course, too, is to protect our bodies from the serious diseases, including the heart disease and cancer. Another important role of vitamin E is to help our body to, to build the red blood cells and also to help our body to use the vitamin K. And finally, the body needs vitamin K to boost the immune system and this way it helps us to prevent the infections to basically fight off invading bacteria and viruses. So what happens to your body if you are not having enough of vitamin E? So the good news is that vitamin E deficiency is really rare in healthy people. It might happen if you, a person, you know, um, is suffering from any disease, especially certain diseases where the fat absorption or, you know, digestion is not working properly, vitamin E needs some fat for our digestive system to absorb it. So among the common reasons, of course, um, when you are having vitamin E deficiency could be the, um, the most common is the dry hair, the loss of the hair, the dry um, uh, scaly skin, the muscle weakness, the loss of the muscle mass, the eye disor disorders and vision problems, are among the symptoms as well. We might also point here the leg cramps, the um, fatigue, the heart disease, the gastrointestinal problems, the leg cramps, if I have mentioned that, and basically, I guess that could be it. But what you need to know is that if it, like um, a deficiency that lasts a long time might also cause the kidney and liver damage. But again, the good news is that, let's say in the United States, there are not so many people who are suffering from the vitamin E deficiency, but there are some people who might have like significantly low uh, levels of this vitamin. You do not have to panic, definitely. Just make sure that the following foods that I'm going to list are the two present in your, in your diet and um, the best source of vitamin E is going to be with germ oil. This is basically a you know, perfect oil by itself, but if you do not want to consume it in the form of the oil, the wheat germ is also great. The other sources of vitamin E are really rich and wide, so you could definitely choose from them, either you consume animal products or not. So if you do, you could include it to your diet, such foods as eggs and liver, and um, you could definitely also use some other vegetable oils like sunflower oil and olive oil, walnut oil, if we're talking about walnuts, nuts are a perfect source of vitamin E like hazelnuts, almonds, sunflower seeds, walnuts, and um, the sweet potatoes, asparagus, and avocado, and even yums are also good sources of vitamin C and it's perfect use for people who don't consume animal products. And even dark greens, um, this uh, like kale and spinach, they do have vitamin E in it, in it too. And the greens like beet, 
turnips and um, collard and mustard they also have vitamin E in it so that's basically lots and lots of food that you could miss and match and then just to make sure that vitamin E is in your diet so you don't have any deficiencies but what I need to mention here of course is that if you uh, you know you, you could never say by yourself if you are lacking any vitamin E even though you have some symptoms you should definitely consult your doctor especially before you have make a decision to take any dietary supplements why because if you're taking too much vitamin E it could be harmful and toxic to your body because vitamin E supplements especially if you're taking too much the dosage is too big it could really cause the like like increase the risk of bleeding especially if you're taking any blood thinner thinners you know the medications so always check with your doctor and also find out for any possible interactions but always remember that the natural form of vitamin E will always be the best and more potent and uh, I just wish you to stay healthy we um, found out about vitamin E today and it's pretty simple and a very important vitamin we shall move towards the others in the next videos and I wish you to stay happy, healthy, and I will see you later.